Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie and today we're going to be looking at Cirque's new Heavenly Bodies collection. So this collection features six brand new magnetic nail polishes in a jelly base and there were also two sets of nail charms that were released alongside this collection but I completely forgot about them so they're not going to be in the video but I do have a ton of comparisons at the end so let's just get into the swatches. The first polish is Lyra, and this one is described as a warm brown taupe with a magnetic duochrome pigment that shifts between lilac pink and champagne. So Cirque Magnetics, if you're unfamiliar, have a much more jelly type of formula. So as you can see on the first coat here, it is incredibly sheer. So you're definitely going to need at least, I would say three coats for the majority of these to look a lot more opaque or alternatively you can layer them over a similar cream colored base if you don't want to do as many coats because you'll still get that same magnetic effect so for this polish in particular i built it up in three coats and it's still not even that close to being 100 percent opaque you can definitely see through to my nail line but i just personally cap out on three coats so to be completely honest, this one was the most disappointing for me in this collection when it comes to the formula, which really was a bummer because I actually was excited for this brown taupe kind of color. But to kind of make up for it, the velvet effect on this one is absolutely insane. So I did do a fourth coat for this velvet effect, so the base is a little bit more opaque here, but yeah, overall I'm kind of eh. Next up we have Lynx, which is a chartreuse green with a magnetic duochrome pigment that shifts between orange and gold. And as you can see from that bottle shot, that was not really the most impressive, but formula-wise this one I felt was a little bit better, where even though it still has that very jelly-like formula, it was just a little bit more opaque. So I personally found this one a lot more wearable on two coats, where it still has that squishy kind of feeling and you can see through to your nail line in certain angles, but it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. So if your nails are longer than mine, doing a third coat is probably necessary, so I am going to show it just to show you uh, because this I would definitely consider 100% opaque, but for the most part, I think most people can get away with just two coats of this one. So yeah, you know that I'm not super crazy about this kind of shade and even the velvet effect was a little bit underwhelming, though I think this might be more of like a user error kind of thing. Velvet nails can be pretty tricky to do, but this one wasn't too bad. The next polish we have is Draco and this one is a black jelly base with a green magnetic pigment. So on the website there isn't any mention of it being duochrome, but I will say that the green to me looks a little bit more of like a chartreuse olivey kind of green where there's some yellow gold undertones. But onto the formula, as you can see it is another incredibly sheer jelly type of formula which again is very typical for Cirque Magnetics. So I built it up on two coats here and it looks a lot better since the base is black so it is going to look a lot more pigmented but I still wouldn't call it a hundred percent opaque. I think if your nails were a lot shorter where you don't have a lot of free edge then you could probably get away with just two coats but I did end up building this up in three coats just to make it fully opaque so the good news at least was that this was fully opaque in three coats which shouldn't be surprising with that black jelly base but yeah I actually kind of really like this one even though it's so moody it just reminds me of this enchanting like moss kind of color and here with the velvet effect i just love how this looks it is just so so mesmerizing the next shade is Delphinus, and this one is a teal blue jelly base with a magnetic duochrome that shifts between light pink and champagne 
So this one was my personal favorite from this collection. I just absolutely love the teal base in this one. I think it is just so, so beautiful. And even though it might not really translate that well on camera, I feel like the duochrome effect in this one was on the stronger side compared to some of the other previous shades that we swatched. Formula-wise, this one performed just the same as the other so far, where it was very sheer on the first coat and still very squishy looking here on the second coat. So unfortunately, on the third coat, this one didn't reach 100% opacity for me. I would say it's maybe like 90% there, but I didn't really care too much about it because I just love the depth of the base. And here it is with the velvet effect, which again, looks so, so insane. It just has such a dramatic shift and contrast between the light magnetic shimmer and the deep base. It's just so beautiful. Next up, we have Perseus, which is described as a ruby red base with a coral pink magnetic shimmer. So this one is another one that doesn't have a duochrome magnetic effect. It's just the one color shimmer. So on the first coat, I was actually pretty impressed because I thought that it was going to be another super, super sheer kind of shade. And it definitely still is, but it just was a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Unfortunately, though, I was also expecting it to be opaque in two coats because of that, but it was still very see-through, but also a little bit patchy in some spots. I'm not sure if I just pulled away some of the polish from the first coat so i did need a third just to even the base out and it did look a lot better though i will say this is another one that isn't exactly a hundred percent opaque so if you care about having fully opaque nails if you're not into jelly polishes then this is probably another one that i would recommend layering over a red kind of base but anyway here it is with the velvet effect and i just think it's so so beautiful i mean i'm definitely a sucker for velvet nails when it comes to magnetics so this one's up there for me and the last shade in this collection is Cassiopeia, which is a purple jelly base with a silvery blue magnetic pigment. So again, this is another one that doesn't list a duochrome pigment. And for whatever reason, I wasn't recording the application of the first coat, but I don't think it mattered too much since it's basically the same as the other jelly formulas in this collection. So here it is on two coats and you can still see right through to my nail line and it's just not very even so I did need a third coat just to deepen the base color and it's still not 100% opaque but I didn't really care because I just really love this one. I love that silvery blue magnetic pigment in contrast with the purple base. There's just something about this combination that is so beautiful to me and look at how it turned out with the velvet effect. Isn't that crazy? I was honestly really impressed with myself because I was just moving the magnet around a lot more than I usually do if you're familiar with my velvet nails hack. That didn't really work with these polishes and I definitely didn't do that to get this effect. It was a little bit more intensive, but it is so worth it. Now moving on to comparisons, we're starting with Cirque's Lyra and comparing it to Hollow Taco's Fairy Tale, which I immediately thought of since it's the only other brown magnetic that I have. So here on the first coat, I have it just applied with no magnetic effect. Here on the second coat, I have it with the cat eye effect. So you can definitely see that Hollow Taco is already opaque on two coats. And there's also just a lot more going on in the base with those extra hollow flakies. And here on the third coat, I have it with the velvet effect. So the Hollow Taco one is a little bit more of a finer kind of sheen almost. So I don't really love it for the velvet effect. I think it looks much better in Lyra in my opinion. So. I'd love to know which one you like more. Next up for Lynx, I wanted to compare it to Mooncat's Dab of Newt from their Hocus Pocus 2 collection, which came out a while ago and I don't think is available. So just in case you did miss that one, I wouldn't call these dupes. So here on the first coat, again, it's applied with no magnetic effect and you can see there's a lot more yellow to the Mooncat shade. Here on the second coat, you can see that Cirque is built up to be a little bit more opaque than Mooncat's is, but again, Mooncat has a lot more going on with those extra flakies. 
and here they are on the third coat with the velvet effect which again the moon cat one is like this sheen so i'm not super crazy about that for delphinus i wanted to show it next to cirque's monolith which is actually not a magnetic but just a multi-chrome polish because i thought that the colors might be kind of similar so here they are applied with no magnetic effect for delphinus and yeah they're not exactly dupes so I have a couple of comparisons for Perseus, starting with Cirque's Kinetic from their Illusion collection a couple years ago. So these were actually a lot more similar than I thought they were going to be. So here it is on the first coat with no magnetic effect and they could kind of pass for each other. But on the second coat with the cat eye effect, you can definitely tell that Kinetic is a little bit more of a darker kind of crimson red type of base and not as bright as Perseus. And here on the third coat with the velvet effect, I think you can tell apart the magnetic shimmer a little bit more where it's a little bit more cool toned in kinetic, but I don't think that one was brought back recently. So if you did miss this one, then Perseus is a great alternative. I also have a comparison for Island Peas Be Mine from their recent Sweetheart Bundle, which is another bright red kind of base with a light pink sort of magnetic shimmer in there so again here it is on the first coat with no magnetic effect and you can see they kind of look similar but i think you can see a little bit more warmth in island p so here on the second coat with the cat eye effect they aren't built up to opacity exactly but island p is a little bit more opaque with a lot more flakies going on and here on the third coat with the velvet effect Island P has more of that sheen type of finish compared to Perseus, so they're not dupes I would say at all, but I don't know if you would need both. We're also going to be comparing it to Hollow Taco's Love Spell from a couple months ago, and this one is kind of similar to Island P's Be Mine, but I already did a comparison so I'll link that in the cards. But here it is on the first coat with no magnetic effect and I thought they were pretty similar but there is a little bit more orange in Hollow Taco and you can definitely tell them apart once you do the cat eye effect here on the second coat. There's just all of these hollow flakies in Love Spell and not to mention the magnetic is duochrome. And here they are on the third coat with the velvet effect. So. Again, I think the velvet effect looks a lot better in the Cirque polishes because you can just see more of those individual particles, if that makes sense, whereas Hollow Taco is a lot more of a flatter kind of sheen. And the last comparison for Perseus is Mooncat's Reclaim the Flame from their Hocus Pocus 2 collection, which again, I don't think is available anymore. So in case you did miss out on that one, I did have some comparisons at the end of that review video, but I don't think Perseus is even close to being an alternative for it. So here it is on the first coat with no magnetic effect. Here it is on two coats with the cat eye, and you can see that Mooncat has these gorgeous red flakies in the base, and it's a little bit more of a deeper red and also a little bit more opaque on two coats here. And lastly, on the third coat with the velvet effect, you can see that they are pretty opaque base-wise, but again, the magnetic shimmer is just more of that crushed velvet look in Perseus, whereas it doesn't look as velvety in Mooncat. Next for Draco, I wanted to show it next to Hollow Taco's Wicked Potion, which came out a couple months ago. And this is just going to be a bottle shot because as you can tell, they are just completely different shades of green. And the Hollow Taco one is just much more opaque as well. So I thought that Island Peas Venom might be a little bit more similar to compare it to because I thought the green was a little bit closer to that yellowish kind of shade, but it's not. <laughs> so here on the first coat, you can see just how yellow and also sheer the Cirque polish is. Here on two coats with the cat eye effect, Island P is basically fully opaque with a lot more flakies in the base as well. And on the third coat with the velvet effect, again, I would say that Cirque just has a better crushed velvet type of look while island p looks more like a drastic sheen and lastly for cassiopeia i have cirque's paradox to compare it to which also came out in their illusion collection a couple years ago 
So I really thought that these were gonna be a lot more similar to each other, but as you can see, they are not even close to being dupes. And you can also tell just how sheer these two are. I feel like they were the sheerest polishes out of all the ones we've seen today. But here on the second coat with the cat eye effect, again, the bases are not looking cute. There is a subtle difference where I would say Paradox is a little bit warmer, but even once the base is more opaque like it is here on the third coat, you can definitely see the difference in the shimmer where it's more of that icy blue kind of color in Cassiopeia and more of a brighter blue in Paradox. So that wraps up my swatches and comparisons for Cirque's new Heavenly Bodies collection. As always, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this release because I like them but i do wish that i like them more as i mentioned with some of these i really love the colors even though some of them are kind of dark for this time of year and i'm a big seasonal wearer so i'm ready for the lights and brights and all of that there's still something about these that i think are so so beautiful probably because of like the whole constellation theme i'm just such a fan of that but my main gripe with these is their formula Seeing so many brands release magnetics last year, I think I just kind of have learned that I prefer a much more opaque formula for my magnetics. But even if these polishes were opaque in let's say one coat, like they were one coat magnetics, I feel like I still wouldn't love them as much because there's just something missing in them. And especially for this collection being like a constellation, like inspired by the stars, I feel like they really missed an opportunity by adding in little hollow flakies or even just like silver metallic, like anything. They could have added that in there. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the one topper they released last spring called Nimbus, but that is like such a beautiful topper that I think could have worked so perfectly in here. So it is a little bit of a bummer because they're just magnetics, you know? And even though some of these have a duochrome pigment, I didn't know that until I read the website descriptions because they just are so subtle to me maybe there's like one polish that i could kind of tell there was like a little more going on but in comparison to their illusion collection which had like you know the multi-chrome like duochrome polishes uh like mood ring paradox like i shared dream within a dream like some of those polishes are so shifty and so even comparing these to previous Cirque Magnetics, I feel like they don't stand out as much. The only thing that's really saving this collection for me personally is how amazing I think they look with a velvet effect. I just prefer wearing my magnetics with a velvet effect over a cat eye, so these I think are so beautiful for that. But if it's a cat eye that you're going for, I don't know if you're gonna love these because you also have to love jelly polishes and I feel like so many people have mentioned like they're over jelly polishes so I don't know I'm kind of curious to know what you all think about these leave any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it but thank you so much for hanging out with me today I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye